Hey guys, it's me, it's Nestor Raphael, and I'm the Wandering Beardo. And if you watched my last video, you've seen that we visited this restaurant called Southern Delights, where we got biryani. It's now time to try. Okay, so we're going to have a look at what that beef biryani actually looks like. You ready for this? Okay, so here it goes, that's the grand reveal. Oh my god, that's a lot of food. I think that'll last me at least three meals. Wow. Okay, so this came along with that, which is the raita. And this, which I'm assuming is some kind of a chutney. I don't know, I'm going to try that out and see how that is. But they also give papad. Okay, so now this serving, believe it or not, all of this is about a third of what they had given in that packaging. A third! I mean, oh my god, I heaped my plate and I still managed only to cause that much of a dent. So it's time to try and see what this actually tastes like. Honestly, it's really awesome. And I'm kind of excited that I've got meals for tomorrow as well. Mm. And immediately I got a piece of cardamom. But that's generally how biryani is, right? You got those spices, I'm not going to add to that. The rice is really beautifully flavored. Okay. A little bit of beef. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. Try a little bit like that. That's nice. That is. Mmm, it's good writer and good biryani. Oh wow! So, just so you can see, look at how beautiful that rice looks. Mm. What happens is the beef gets really tender, and it's taken up all the flavor from the seasonings. So this is what a lot of Indians would call kada masala. So it's your cinnamon sticks, um, cloves, peppercorn, stuff like that. That actually sits in the rice and in the gravy and adds to the flavor. They've got bits of um, fried cashew nuts to enhance the richness. Just hang on, let me try and show you this. Look at that. That's the masala. Oops. That's the masala. It's just masala. And that's like shredded beef. Oh, too good. Just too good. Some kind of a pickle. Mmm. Oh, that's sour. Mmm. Nice. Oh, that's good. That's like a that's like a lime pickle. Really nice.
You gotta look out for those old spices. Get those out of the way. The thing about the old spices is it adds insane, insane flavor to the to the, curry, to the rice, um, to the gravy. So most Indians will cook with old spices. I love cooking with old spices. It's just that when you're eating, you want to get them out of the way because they have their own very particular taste. They can be overpowering. So the thing about this biryani is, it's not spicy. It's not like hot. So I don't think if you're if you're not eating, uh, I think what is going to surprise you is the old spices that you will need to set aside. Um, there's a subtle spice, but it's not the crazy, unbearable heat. It's just subtle. This is definitely something you want to try. The um, pickle that they've given, the lime pickle, has this lovely sour quality. So it's a nice accompaniment to the dish. You should really try that. Uh, the other thing is, you will get pieces of bone. Uh, the meat is not boneless. So, just fair warning on there. That's, I think, the best way to cook meat and the best way to cook a biryani because you've got this flavor seeping in. So, if you're someone who likes a biryani, mm, this is one for you. What a beautiful meal. I'm going to use my hands for this. There's no way I could use a spoon or a fork or a knife to cut this. I'm just going to use my hands. I'll show you this meat. Look at that. Mm. Oh, yum. And now suddenly I feel like why didn't I use my hands in the first place? I don't want you watching that, so I'm gonna end the video here.